Hey, what is up guys? Tom Spark back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you today about VPN protocols. Um, when should you use one protocol versus the other? What is the best protocol to use? So these are some of the questions I'm going to be answering in today's video. Stick around to find out more about these protocols. So today we're going to be talking about some protocols. Uh, PPTP stands for point-to-point -point tunneling. We're going to be talking about LT. L2, TP, or IPSEC. This stands for Layer Two Tunneling Internet Protocol Security. Now, we're also gonna be talking about SSTP, which stands for S Secure Socket Tunneling Protocol. Lastly, we're gonna be talking about OpenVPN, IKEV2, which stands for Internet Key Exchange, and we're gonna let you decide which one is the best to use. So first, let's talk about PPTP. This stands for Point-to-Point -point Tunneling. This is one of the oldest protocols out there. Um, it was introduced into Windows 95. However, there are a lot of security vulnerabilities with PPTP, so it's not really recommended to use it anymore. That said, it's very multi-platform friendly, easy to use. It really only requires a password, username, and server address to establish a working connection. Now, this is a good protocol for those who don't care about security. And it's also very easy to configure into routers with DDWRT or tomato software. So it's very easy to use and quick, but it's not very secure at all. Now let's talk about layer two tunneling or L2TP, internet protocol security. Now this is a popular protocol for iOS. Since iOS doesn't really allow OpenVPN through their app store, you have to download the OpenVPN client. Um, so you're really only gonna be able to use LT L2TP for iOS and uh, various other operating systems out there. It's pretty secure and it's not a bad protocol really. It's just a little bit slower than some other protocols. Um, it does provide 256-bit encryption and that's basically it. So let's talk about SSTP, Secure Socket Tunneling Protocol. This was introduced by Microsoft and Windows Vista. SP1, and it's still really only a Windows only platform based protocol. Um, it offers similar advantages to something I'm going to discuss later uh, OpenVPN, and it's very easy to use within Windows. Now, it's not very open source, and a lot of Microsoft skeptics have strayed away from it for these reasons. So, the pros for this protocol are that it has good security, complete Windows integration, it could get through most firewalls, and but the only bad news is since it's so closed down, it can't really be inspected that heavily for vulnerabilities. So now let's talk about OpenVPN. This is my favorite and probably the best protocol to use for any VPN. If you find a VPN not supporting OpenVPN, this is already a bad sign. Now keep in mind that your VPN has to use the latest version of OpenVPN to be you know, completely secure. I just found out that PureVPN in one of my last videos was using a 2015 version of OpenVPN, which is not secure. So always make sure your VPN provider not only supports OpenVPN, but also supports the latest version of it. So why is OpenVPN so good? Well, it's the newest and most advanced protocol option for your VPN. It uses an open SSL library and SSL version three TLS v1 protocol. And this means it's highly configurable, continually updated, and it's supported, like I said, by the open source community. Now, OpenVPN can set to run on any port, which makes it very adaptable and impossible to distinguish from regular you know, traffic. This is why a lot of VPNs use OpenVPN to kind of hide VPN use. Um, you'll see a lot of VPNs using OpenVPN, but um, for the reasons that it is the fastest and most secure protocol. The only con is that it requires applications to set up, whereas something like PPTP, you could just set up through Windows, you know, going into the network tab. Lastly, let's talk about Ike v2, Internet Key Exchange. So this is an IPSEC-based IPSEC tunneling protocol developed by Microsoft and Cisco. It is integrated into Windows as well as BlackBerry devices. Um, one of the strengths of Ike v2 is that it can reconnect and establish connections um, quickly on the go. So this is why Microsoft has named Ike v2 uh, VPN Connect. Now, most VPN applications utilize LT L2 TP IPSEC, um, like for iOS, like I mentioned, but Ike V2 is good for Blackberries and things like that. Um, 
What are the pros? Well, it's faster than PPTP, SSTP, and L2TP. Um, it's extremely stable, and it supports good encryption rates like AES-128 and AES-256. It also has easy setup. Um, the cons are that it is limited to Microsoft and BlackBerry. It's not supported on very many operating systems, and it is also easy to block more so than OpenVPN. So what is the conclusion from this comparison between these protocols? Well, OpenVPN is the most multi-platform protocol to use. It's the fastest and most secure, while other options like um, LT, L2TP, IPsec are good to use for iOS. Now, if you have a BlackBerry or our own Windows, Ike V2 is also a good option. So TLDR is make sure you pick a VPN client that supports OpenVPN and you should probably be good to go.